welcome back! So, any luck at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? Yes, they did. Here. Excellent news! So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. Uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. They better all be there! I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject of garments, I've been meaning to acquire a new outfit for you, too. It's just... I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuman attire. Oh? Are you sure? Is that so? Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code, as well as a code of conduct. Hmm... More like when you're away from home, you've got by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. But Paima would still love to check out some Inazuman outfits. Just what is that supposed to mean? They make them in whatever size the customer asks for. <laughs> oh, your interactions are so adorable to watch. <clears throat> I mean, um, I can certainly find someone to tailor a Paimon size outfit if Paimon so wishes. Well, if you're sure, as you wish. Something else I've been wondering is... How do people in other nations dress? I sure do. Each nation has its own unique style. Traditional, fancy schmancy, casual, all very different. But each style is suited to its region. The study of clothing is a profound discipline. And I still have much to learn. When clothing becomes part of the expression of one's personality, even an extension of one's body, that is quite a wonderful thing. So I am not against dressing up. Far from it. Paimon agrees. You couldn't have put it any better. Paimon, you're so adorable that you could wear anything and it would look lovely on you. Wow! <laughs> Paimon just got a compliment! Sorry to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Is there anything else you're missing? Fortunately not. I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Yes, please. Understood. I'll get to work shortly. In total, that'll be... this much. Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. Until then, I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Good idea! Let's check out the whole area! We don't want to leave any loose ends! <laughs> there will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. For our next stop, I'd like to take you both for a meal. Food? Oh, Paima likes this plan. Mm-hmm. I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought that the relaxed atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Shall we head off? Yep, yep! Hyman can't wait! The garment will be ready later. Why not look around the area in the meantime? Places. Looks cute and cozy. 
Welcome! Oh, Miss Kiminami. How do you do? Ah, oh, Miss Kamisato. Perfect timing. Your booking was for... Well, right now! I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent! No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, tiny customer, please wait here for a moment while I prepare your food. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. <clears throat> it's nothing of that sort. I just have a few minor things I need to attend to. I won't be long. She sure left in a hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. So, you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? <laughs> well, we serve all the classics. Sure, there are fancier looking places out there, but the food here speaks for itself. Hope you enjoy it. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Her table booking surprised me. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. The first time ever? Oh, guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? Sure does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Paimon would have thought that would make her really popular. That's what I used to think, too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated than that. Nobody in the neighborhood has a bad word to say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful. Not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection. And they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. So you see, on paper, she sounds like a girl everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Huh. Paimon never would have guessed. We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities at such a young age. So, it makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Anyway, relax, enjoy your meal, and please, talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. Sorry, Traveler. Could you join me over there for a minute? Um, I need your help with something. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I, um, just had a cooking catastrophe. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. As you can see... This house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. Actually, this whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Kiminami to prepare some ingredients and utensils for me, so that I could cook a special dish here. Right! If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. Actually, I wanted to cook something as a gift for Tsubaki. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, perhaps a dish from overseas would make a fitting gift. A dish from overseas? So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? If so, then we've got lots of options, don't we? Hey! Don't make this weird! 
Can I leave you to finish this task then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? I'll be indebted to you. Great. But... What kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Oh, hi, Manos! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! Pizza! Pizza? It's an assortment of toppings and sauce spread over a bread base and cooked in the oven! And it's so good! That does sound pretty good. Cook traveler. <sighs> I would love to be able to master dishes from all over the world. Well, all you need to learn is a recipe. We can bring you some more recipes in the future if you like. Great. I look forward to learning from your culinary expertise. How are you all doing? Whoa, is this. Miss Kamisato, this must be the dish you were talking about. Yes, an overseas dish cooked by the Traveler. Could I trouble you to package it for me? Sure, no problem. Oh, it smells good. I bet it tastes amazing. Oh, now I really want to put something like this on our menu. <laughs> want us to teach you how to make it? Oh, could you? The most satisfying meals are the ones you share with other people. So Paimon thinks that our friends in Mondstadt wouldn't mind us sharing this dish with Inazuma. Really? That's great. I've always wanted to learn how to cook some international dishes. If you can write down a recipe for me, I'll add it to our menu and put a promotion where everyone will see it. Since we've become a closed nation, People haven't had the chance to try anything new. Traveler, you're the best! I'll go pack up this dish for Miss Kamisato. Please, make your way back to the restaurant whenever you're ready. The food will be waiting for you. You could have sold that recipe for a high price, but you selflessly gave it away for free. You're a wonderful person. I mean it. I admire you a lot, and I'm so proud to be friends with someone of such fine character. Well, you should probably write down the recipe now, no? Yeah, let's make sure we include all the details and then give it to Miss Kiminami. So, pizza. Start with the basic ingredients. Correctamundo! Right, now to add the next couple of ingredients. Mmm, yep, that's right! Now for the cooking instructions. Place onto oven rack at high heat and cook until golden brown. Alright, it's done! Long may our reputations and our recipes precede us wherever we go in Inazuma. I have no doubt that they will. This dish is exquisite. Cool! Then let's get this recipe to Miss Kimi Nami Prato! Hey! Have you written out the recipe? Here it is. Thank you! Wowie! This is so exciting! I want to make it right away! Traveler, Paimon, please accept my sincerest apologies for delaying your meal. <laughs> no problem! Food always tastes better when you've worked up an appetite. Alright, let's dig in before it gets cold. 
Well, what do you think? Is Inazuman cuisine to your liking? It's amazing! Paimon loved this one! Oh, and especially that one over there! <laughs> Good. I'm relieved. Um... When I was attempting to cook earlier on, did you... chat with the owner at all? And did she, uh... say anything about me? She did, but don't worry. She's just happy for you is all. She's... happy for me? Oh, then... she must have told you. Did she... um... What does it matter? I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. Hey, it's not you. Most people just haven't had the chance to talk to you one-on-one -on -one before. Thank you for your comforting words, Paimon. It's all true, though. I just don't have very many friends. Most of the time I'm either accompanied by family or staff, so everyone must have found it quite a surprise to see me taking you out for a meal. Exactly! You've got at least two friends right here! Aww! Thank you! That makes me so happy! Ahem! <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm forgetting myself. Hey now! Expressing your feelings is the right thing to do. Keeping them locked away inside isn't gonna do you any good now, is it? I agree. So? I just want to say how happy I feel that you both see me as a true friend. Of course we do. That's always been our style. If someone's nice to us, we're nice to them too. Friendship can go a long way. Take your mom, for example. She wrote about Tsubaki in her notebook, and now it's made you want to find them, too! Yes. I think friendship is an extremely precious thing, and ours is one that I will always treasure. Um, while we're on the topic, though, who is this Tsubaki person, anyway? Well, I think I have an idea, but it's just speculative at this point. I think that Tsubaki might be a fox envoy. A fox envoy? Yes, that's what I think. Even I, my mother's own daughter, had never even heard of this friend before. It just seems so mysterious. So I think it must be someone with transcendent abilities who doesn't show themselves very often. And fox envoys are nothing new. Stories have been told about them in Inazuma since ancient times. You must have met Kuji Yae before. Well, she's a fox envoy. That got me thinking. Maybe there are fox envoys out there in Inazuma that people just don't know about. And maybe Tsubaki is one of them. Whoa! So Inazuma also has supernatural beings? Uh, when you say... Also, Well, before Inazuma, we spent some time in Liyue. They have lots of supernatural beings there, like the Adepti. All kinds of them, too. Up in the sky, down below the ground, in the water. Really? I've come across such things being asserted in books. But to hear someone talk about it from first-hand experience is extremely surprising. So Liyue lives up to its reputation. Its culture has a long history and gives rise to the most beautiful legends. Quite captivating. You should come visit Liyue with us sometime. The best part is, they have loads and loads of delicious delicacies. Really? I would love that. Speaking of delicacies, Traveler, Paimon, have you eaten your fill? Oh, Paimon has! Excellent. Then let's collect the kimono. Then we can pay a visit to my mother's mysterious and transcendent friend. Your garment is ready, Miss Kamisato. I've folded and packaged it for you. Oh, 
And the other item we've discussed? That's ready, too. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It is a beautiful piece of clothing, and it was a pleasure to work on. See you again next time. Traveler, I have a gift for you. Whoa, looks super fancy. Is that for wearing in your hair? It's a hairpin in the style of a white heron. As well as a hair accessory, you can also use it as an ornament. I couldn't ask for your help and offer nothing at all in return. So this is my gift to you. I'm glad you like it. Speaking of white herons, that's what your title means, doesn't it? Shirasagi Himegimi. So this gift is like a little piece of yourself. It's just as elegant and beautiful as you are. <laughs> you flatter me, Paimon. If this gift reminds you of me, that is all I could ask for. <laughs> it definitely will. All right, well, now we've got what we came for, we can set off. Time to go meet Subaki. So, a transcendent being lives here? Ugh. If someone lives here, then why is it so chilly? Hmm, I'm asking myself the same question. How strange. I'm quite sure that this is the location my mother wrote about, but surely... Hmm, I'm starting to have second thoughts. But since we're here, I still think we should go inside and explore in full. Yeah, makes sense. Who knows? Maybe there's a surprise waiting in there for us. So, um, what does the notebook say exactly? Let me think. A crane brings one fresh flower in its beak to decorate my hair, while a white rabbit sews a hemline from four rays of moonlight. Dressed appropriately, I face eastward and call out Tsubaki's name seven times. In the blink of an eye, I'm standing on the path that leads to her house. Sounds like a fairy tale. So your mom would do a little ritual, and just like that, Tsubaki would come to meet her? I have a feeling that it could be some sort of code. Let's get a little closer before coming to any conclusions.